Today we'll see the artist Dante Marioni making one of his signature leaf vessels. Dante is one of the finest glass blowers in America. His work is featured in the collections of many of the world's most important museums. The Carnegie Museum of Art, the Chrysler Museum of Art, and the Smithsonian Institution. He will be working with Janusz Posniak, Ben Cobb, Luis Walter, Sarah Gilbert, Gabe Feenan, and Courtney Branham. Dante has created a bubble with a herringbone pattern. The stripes in the herringbone pattern come from individual rods of colored glass called cane. The canes are laid out on a ceramic plate in a manner similar to the pattern that you see here. Dante will take a collar, a ring of glass, and will roll this pattern up into a tube. He'll close the tube and that will become the bubble. Dante coats his bubble with some fresh hot molten glass, drips a little off into that steel can. We'll save that glass and that will eventually go back into the furnace. Dante is now shaping the glass with a pad of wet newspaper. As long as the newspaper is wet, it doesn't burn too much, it doesn't leave any marks as he shapes the glass. Now he's switched to the marver. The marver is that steel table. He moves the glass against the steel table to shape it. right side of the screen, you can see Janusz. Janusz is blowing directly into the pipe and inflating it as Dante shapes it. Notice that Dante has left a little chunk of solid glass on the end of the bubble. That will become the foot. Blowing it up some more. Swing the glass like that, glass stretches because of centrifugal force. This is making the bubble long. The Anoush is adjusting the taper by rolling it against the steel table of the mark. Do that again. Now that we've got the tape fixed, I'm going to take it back to the bench and we're going to blow it up a little to make it a little rounder and fuller. Take a little hot glass and wrap it around the moil so that it doesn't crack. The moil is the glass around the end of the pipe. Dante marks the pipe so you can see where he is. We'll give the glass a squeeze. Those are two wooden paddles in Dante's hand, and he's flattening the shape.
Ben's heating up the little solid glass section. Give that a little squeeze and make it into the foot. He's heating up the glass to soften it. And then he's going to take a graphite paddle and flatten it and make it into the foot. Now Janusz is preparing the punty. Punty is a second steel rod. It's going to be used as a temporary handle to hold the piece from the bottom while we shape the top. Janusz attaches the punty. He drips water on the glass where he wants it to break. He's going to give it a sharp tap and off it comes. Now it's held from the bottom. The top is exposed. The top can now be heated and shaped. He's squeezing it with the jacks. He's going to stretch out the neck a little bit. He flattens the top half. Okay. He softens that neck with the torch. Stretch it out a little bit. I can make a little crease. And that's where he'll break off that irregular edge. The tool he's using is called the jacks. regular edge now. We'll crimp it a little with the shears and then bust it off. important to keep the glass around the end of the pipe warm so it doesn't crack. Two drops of water on the joint between the piece and the punty. A little tap, off it comes, and into our annealing oven where it be cooled slowly overnight.